and volunteers and repair and resetting <coughs> gravestones in the Merrill Cemetery. The proposed date for this project is August 17, 24. I need to make a motion to guess that. Allow that. You get the. She asked you to respond on that date. Right here on top. Yep. I guess she wants it approved. Okay. You need to you need to do the that cemetery you do the, the veterans graves because they cut your um, your administrative budget, so you're gonna not be able to spend all the money. Oh, she's asking, this, this particular one right here, she's asking for volunteers to come in and do this. She's not asking for any. And this particular thing that she's asking for right here is not, has anything to do with great payers. I mean, yeah. Yeah. there is, there is. Make, make, make a motion. I'll make a motion that we uh, allow her to uh, get these people together and work on the gravestones in the Merrill Cemetery. I'll second it. I, I, I don't understand why, why, why she has to do this. Is it liability issues? Why is, why? I don't know. Can you answer that, Rick? Yeah, in the past, she's, it's just a courtesy to the select board. Um, volunteers have gone around for the last you know, at least two to three years, uh, just leading the, the, the deal, um, going around, just volunteers going into the different cemeteries and, and setting up the gravestones and, and making them presentable again. Um, <coughs> it's just a courtesy. Who, who owns the cemeteries in Brownfield? Well, we're and responsible. Some of them are private. Yeah, some, some are private and they're family owned and yeah. some of them you can't even find out who owns them anymore. So the, the town does take care of the veterans ones and really take care of most of them now. I don't know the, the, the actual legality on it, but it's always been that the town takes care of the, what they call the outlying cemeteries, the ones that don't have an association, so there's no one taking care of them, so the town is responsible for them. The people involved with these private cemeteries up there in age and they don't have the money through the perpetual care because it's all spent. You mean about the interest and it costs, you know, um, and, and it's going to be a burden to the town. That's what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. Well, some of them, the people were all gone. Oh, I know. I know. Legal. I bring my weed whacker down to one lot in Pine Grove just to, so I can plant flowers. Well, Jess has been trying to get people to volunteer, I guess you might say, to, you know, take on a particular cemetery and take care of it. I know that. I grow I don't, big. Uh, well, yeah, that one, you're not going to get someone to do it voluntarily for sure. But, but I don't know how it's even going for that. Even, yeah. Because there is a lot of real small ones, which doesn't take much maintenance, but you got to keep effort every year or else it's going to, you know, grass grows out, turn into trees. Yeah. 